I think uh, the the thing about uh, the elixir of love is that it's such a charming piece, and it can be done just about anywhere. And the last time that I had seen the production, a, a production of this, it was set in a very uh, generic rural Italian town. And I think a lot of audiences in America aren't really used to this piece. And it actually can be set in any provincial town. We thought setting it in a small town, small town, every town USA might be a fun thing to do. And to give, uh, I guess, a little more specificity to the characters and exactly what was going on um, in their lives. Well, I also think something that's that's wonderful about this piece is that it is beautifully comic, but the way you all do it, that's fantastic. I mean, you're all wonderfully funny people, that's, which is really good, but you take yourselves very seriously as these characters, and I think the best comedy comes from being yeah. very serious Absolutely. in the moment. It is the secret of the comedy. It, it's the secret of the comedy, if absolutely. You, if, you, if you pretend to be uh, sympathetic and to be a buffo before you start to sing, and before you take this seriously, yeah, it's totally work. a mistake. It's work. totally a mistake. Nemorino is very serious with everything that he did. You also, and especially uh, the boss. Yeah, I really think I'm cool, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And also the characters are so clearly yes. defined. I think, I think Dr. Dulcamara is one of the, the most interesting characters because of his use of language and, and what he brings to this, this town. Yes, his aria yeah. is, is the, 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 the masterpiece yeah. of the yeah. opera. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I really think so. Well, this is a very innocent period in uh, in American history. It's on the eve of World War One. Um, it just seemed to be a time that uh, that made a lot of sense in terms of who these characters are, what we wanted them to do. In our production, Nemorino is the ice cream man, and he has an ice cream truck. <laughs> Uh, in this production, for me, it's very funny when I'm eating ice cream, just in, in, uh, the, right. in, the, in this position, and it's very, very funny, because I'm feeling like a little girl, and uh, why not, you know? It's, uh, it's really great. So. I think that's one of my favorite <laughs> moments, too. I just sit there and I look at two Be people yeah. eating, eating an ice cream sundae together, and yes. it's... Because this duetto, it's really... The it's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. But to give us this oppor opportunity to, to be something else and to, to, to find uh, something uh, inside our character, this is really I also have to say, you, you all are doing such amazing work in this because it is a, it's a typical American setting with all of these very iconic uh, American references, and that's not easy to, to like look at an old football team coming in or ice cream or I, all of that. But I, I am so impressed by what you all bring to it because you are right there in there, and it makes perfect sense. It's fantastic. Thank you. That's sure. That's, that's not very easy to come in your yeah. yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> See, See you, you at, at the, the opera. opera. <laughs>